What's up, guys? Pep Man here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at the South Mech 8 Conference as we head into conference play. Uh, it's going to be a pretty competitive league here. Um, right now, uh, the way they're ranked, according to the best of last, they got Catholic first, South Mech second, Audrey Kell third, Barry fourth, Olympic fifth, West Mech sixth, Providence seventh, and Harding eighth. Uh, looking at Catholic, they've been really impressive on both sides of the ball. Uh, the defense has pitched a couple of shutouts against uh, pretty decent teams, and they've um, pretty much run through their, their competition so far. Uh, they're going to get a good test uh, with Barry coming up uh, this week, and um, a team that's athletic with speed, uh, something they really haven't seen too much of so far. It's really going to push that uh, defense that's really been playing well. Uh, offensively, of course, we know they're Delaware wing T and they're multiple with the backs. And uh, Jared Anderson is the the catalyst, the main running back in that offense. And um, offensive line uh, is starting to get going. They had uh, some struggles against Christian. They only scored five points, but um, obviously they've they've worked those issues out. They've um, had a couple bye weeks already to um, help them get ready on this uh, run they're gonna make. Uh, but they're gonna be tested. Got some uh, good teams that. Um, run and throw the ball pretty well offensively. Um, not sure how well they're going to be able to stop Catholic. They may get into some shootouts uh, with these teams coming up here. Uh, South Mech uh, had a nice uh, big win against Myers Park a couple weeks ago. They had to buy this past week, uh, but obviously uh, they're playing well. Um, they've kind of grown up. Um, Coach uh, Rocky White's come in and rebuilt that program, and now they're at a place to where they can contend for a conference title. They've been there against Catholic in the uh, the past, as, as uh, most recently last year, obviously. Um, they had a shot in that game, so, you know, they obviously know them well. Um, and it's going to be a, another good game uh, this season for sure in that uh, Park Road rivalry. Uh, RJ Kell, obviously offensively, they, they've played pretty well. Uh, Bryce McGinley, the dual threat quarterback, is having a good year. Uh, Coach White coming over from Independence has put his offensive uh, touches on the uh, team, and they're doing pretty well so far. Uh, defensively, they kind of struggled last, uh, actually two weeks ago now, against Huff in their uh, latest game, which is uh, kind of a disappointment. We thought their defense was starting to come around a little bit. But um, I, I think they're a really a, a team to watch, a team that nobody really wants to see first round. Uh, when you got that much talent, you know, on a team, and once they start figuring it out, and if you're peaking going into the playoffs, that's someone you really don't want to see. Uh, Barry, I think they're a dark horse. A lot of people aren't really talking about them right now, but you know, when they beat Rocky River, they kind of opened some people's eyes a little bit, and then they um, only lost by six to uh, Cutbertson, who has Austin Kendall, who's uh, committed to Oklahoma, star quarterback in the uh, 3A ranks. And um, they just beat West Charlotte uh, pretty well. The score, you know, kind of didn't indicate how that game went. Uh, but these guys on offense, they they have speed. They have ability at the quarterback position. And they also showed against West Charlotte they can run the ball if they uh, if it's necessary. Uh, defensively, they, they're athletic and they're fast. I think you could run right at them. Uh, that would be the way to attack Barry. And they got a game against Catholic that's going to test that ability. And uh, they've hung with Catholic in the past uh, for parts of the game. Uh, so that's going to be a real interesting contest there to, to see, you know, where Barry is. Catholic's had two weeks to get ready. So we'll talk more about that as we get to the game preview. Uh, you got Olympic fifth. Um, they're starting to figure some things out. The defense has played well the past couple of weeks. Now we see that offense put up 42 points against uh, Porter Ridge this past week. And, um, you know, Coach Willis has his version of the wing tee that he runs, and it looks like they're starting to get it going. And sometimes it takes a little longer for offense to get going. That's what the pre-conference is for. And um, if they're going to, you know, if they're going to maybe sneak in the playoffs, um, those, these three teams below them, West Mech, Providence, Harding, they have got to win those games. It's going to be real close to see um, if they can get to that. Uh, we always say five wins. I know four wins is an automatic qualifier, but – Unless you're in the top three of the league, you, you want to get the five wins to get you, you know, a shot, you know, a realistic shot of getting in as a wild card, especially in the 4A ranks because you got so many teams that, that can get the four wins, and so you really want to get the five. Uh, West Mech, 
they're they're playing better than some people expected. Um, athletics, athletic, excuse me, <laughs> athleticism on offense, uh, defensively is where they they kind of struggle a little bit, but they held their own with Independence for a while. Just couldn't pull it out in the fourth quarter. Young team learning how to win. Uh, Coach Caldwell's got them going in the right direction. They had a bye this past week. Uh, Providence, I think, is, is kind of struggling through some things with younger kids. Um, they lost a lot of talent off that last year team, obviously. Um, Got to develop more in the passing game. I think their defense plays the run pretty well. Uh, they can be hurt with the pass. Um, not a, a ton of athletes, but they maximize their talents well. So they're, they're going to be, you know, well coached as they go on through the schedule here and they start getting deeper into their schemes and things of that nature. And then you got Harding. And Harding was playing better. They had um, a lead against East Mech for a while. They couldn't pull it out. Lost by three in their last game. They had a bye. Uh, they got a JV team going now, which is a good good sign for Coach Griner and those guys. Um, you know, I, I give Harding a shot in a couple of these games, and they've, they've got a win. So if they can get the four wins and get playoff qualified, I think that, you know, would be some – some good success based off of where they're coming from from last season. So, you know, that's how the South Mech 8 looks right now. Uh, I think those those top four teams I mentioned, Catholic, South Mech, Audrey, Kell, and Barry, uh, I think you're going to have some good games between those four. And, um, it's, you know, Catholic's the favorite, obviously, right now, but South Mech, Audrey, Kell, and even Barry can challenge for that conference title. Uh, you might get some, you know, beating up on each other here, and you may have a tie you know, for that conference title, it may come down to, you know, some tiebreakers, and we hadn't seen that in a little while, but I, I think you got a lot of uh, parity amongst the uh, top of the conference here, and the bottom of the conference, I think there'll be some good games there also, so uh, good luck, guys, going into conference this week, and um, everybody stay healthy. Thanks.